So uh, this is called a business briefing. And this is for those that are brand new for the first time where we give you an overview of the business. And this could be about a 45 minute presentation, maybe a 30 minute presentation. If you're going to join us, then you're gonna to want to eventually learn how to do this yourself. You may not stand up like this in front of a group like I'm doing right now, but maybe it's one people, two people, three people, and you, you have this small meeting to begin with, and then your business grows. So I'm really excited today to do this for you. If you're new for the first time, I want to invite you to take notes, okay? Please take notes on these five areas that I will be talking about today. Okay, if you don't take notes, it is proven that in three hours, you won't remember much of what I said. So it's just the way our brains work. We've got to make sure that by writing them down, we end up capturing a lot more of the information that is so important and critical for you to have. So what we're going to do quickly here is we're going to cover just a little bit of an introduction. I was recruited into New Skin uh, 20, almost 25 years ago. I was doing real estate at the time. I had a small brokerage in Salt Lake City, Utah. I had a couple agents working for me, three or four agents. One of those was a guy named Jeff Mack, as you can imagine, okay, you know who he is. And so we ended up getting exposed to this business. I was home one night, I was tired, I was hungry, I just wanted to eat my dinner, and the telephone rings, and it's my brother-in-law on the end of the phone. And his name's Craig Tillotson. And Craig starts to tell me all about New Skin, how incredible it is, and why it's going to really grow, and how I need to be involved in it. The whole time I am standing there thinking silently, I am not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. And finally I got a word in edgewise and I said, Craig, thank you for the phone call. I appreciate you thinking of me, but I'm just not going to do it. It's really definite. Thank goodness he wasn't a wimp. Because if he would have been a weak person and backpedaled and apologized, I wouldn't be standing here today. He was strong. And he simply said, what is your problem? <laughs> and I thought, great, he wants to know my problem. I think I'll tell him. And that's when I said, Craig, my problem is I'm a really competitive person. Let's assume everything you said about New Skin is true. Just set that aside. You're already so far ahead of me. You've been doing this three, four years. You're making 10, 20,000 a month, whatever it is. You're so far ahead of me that even if I started today, I would probably never catch up to you, and that would drive me crazy the rest of my life, and that's my problem. <laughs> and he came back strong again. He said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why should you care about the money I'm already making? I didn't see you here doing new skin. You know, you chose real estate. I chose new skin. Maybe you made the wrong choice. And then he said, Nathan, I'm going to move forward in this company with or without you. And he said, I will make a hundred thousand dollars a month whether you do it or not and when he said that it was like a stake in my heart you know for a competitive person to hear that right you just think that's just you know that's just like more insult to injury right and so basically I started to listen then that's the first time I started to listen and then he said <clears throat> to me he said Nathan it's like what you're doing with real estate is like pedaling a 10-speed bicycle it's like you're pedaling a 10-speed. He said, me, I'm driving a Ferrari. It doesn't matter how fast you pedal your 10-speed, you will never catch me in my Ferrari. And most of you in this room right now, you're pedaling 10-speeds. That's what you're doing. And we're going to show you a Ferrari today. We're going to show you something that can take you a lot further, a lot faster, with a lot more fun than you're having right now. All right? That's the difference. We call it a different financial vehicle, okay? So everybody here drives some kind of a vehicle in your life to make your money, to feed your family, to do whatever you do. And I'm going to submit to you today that almost all of the things you're doing are flawed in some way. You're driving a bit of a broken vehicle. And we're going to show you a totally different financial vehicle today that we know can make a huge difference in your life. You might know Robert Kiyosaki from Rich Dad Poor Dad. He created something called a cash flow quadrant. And this is a bit of a modification of that, but it's for our business, what we like you to understand here, right? Of all the people in the world who work, 94% of them work for somebody else. They're employees. Eventually, after you've had multiple jobs, you will finally figure out that you will never make it financially working for somebody else. All you're doing is renting your body and brain to that company for a pittance, for a salary, a wage, a commission, something like that. But it's all temporary. 
You are the focal point of your income generation. If you ever stop showing up to that place, the money will stop coming in. And many of you are running on certain kinds of financial treadmills, and the treadmill is getting tough, and the, the angle is getting steeper, and the business, the boss is asking you to do more, to run faster for the same money sometimes. And you're not sure how long you can run this fast. You're not sure if you want to run that long for the rest of your life on that financial treadmill. And so what we have is a better way for you to look at it. Some people are retired or students, okay? As an employee, there's no time or money. As a student, you might have time but no money. Some people have their own businesses. How many here own, here own your own traditional business? Okay, liars. You don't own it. It owns you. You think about it 24-7, right? You're the first one there. You're the last one to leave. You think about it nonstop. You pay everybody else. And if there's any money left, maybe you pay yourself at the end of the month. And it's a tough thing, right? Your employees can never care about that business like you because they don't have the same return, or re, you know, reward or risk, right? They don't have it. They're just employees, right? They just expect you to throw the hay in the manger every two weeks, right? Employees are like cows. They just want to walk up to the hay every two weeks and go, ah. <laughs> and walk up two weeks later, ah. <laughs> cows get slaughtered, folks. Okay? Don't be a cow. All right? Then you have a business system. Business systems are like what we're doing. We build a network of consumption with real products that people really love, with great customers, and that's what we do that makes this business really work. And in this business system, in the beginning, you don't have either one of these either. No time or money. You gotta hit it, you gotta go to work. But this vehicle called a business system, in the end, there's a day, there comes a time when you don't have to show up anymore and the money will still keep coming in. There's a chance here. There's a way here where you can work hard one time. And maybe that one time's five years. And you really hit it for five years. And then you can be done. You know, it's like pushing this ball up to the top of this mountain. You have to give it everything you got to get that ball to the top. But once you push it over the top, it starts to roll down the other side under its own power. And it gets bigger and gains speed as it goes, right? And you don't have to push it anymore. And I'm at that place myself now in the development of my new skin business. It's been that way for a long time now. Okay, I love being here, but this meeting today is not going to change my income at all. Because I've got 500,000 distributors in 53 countries and our little effort here today is nothing compared to the combined efforts of those people, right? So my business just keeps throwing money in my bank every month. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop it if I want it to. <laughs> so that's the way it works today. Now, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. We're going to talk about the company, the trends, the products and science, the compensation, and then support and mentorship in that order. I will tell you when I go to the next point. Please take some notes, okay? Please pull out your paper and take some notes, all right? So let's talk about the company. More accolades than we can mention. Every week, New Skin's recognized for some amazing thing. Last year, New Skin was the number one stock in the world for five weeks in a row. Now listen, that's like, you never get that for a company. It's like incredible to even get it. And when you get it, you can't stay king of Bunker Hill forever. Somebody's going to knock you off, right? So we're not the top anymore. Our stocks come off our highs a bit. But the performance is still incredible from last year, okay? What you need to know is this. We have over 500 mutual funds that currently own shares of this company. These funds are run by really smart people. They are betting hundreds of millions of dollars on the future success and growth of this company. They have done way more research on this company than you have done, I promise you. You should take a lot of comfort from the fact that that many smart people are betting that much money on the future of this business, and you probably ought to make the bet too. And I'm not talking about making the bet in stock. I don't care if you buy the stock or not, okay? I'm saying this, you will never make as much money owning the stock of this company as you will by building a network in this company. So build the network that can pay you for the rest of your life. That's what we're talking about, right? The growth last year was more than a billion dollars in a year alone. 
When you see a chart like that, you should ask yourself one question. Why? Why is that happening? What is driving that growth of this company like a hockey stick? Just boom, right? It's called age lock. And we'll talk about that in just a second. This is the chairman of our company, Blake Roney, in the midst of all these children in Africa. Nine years ago, Blake had a vision that childhood starvation should be extinguished in this world. We don't need to have any more children die from malnutrition. And so he directed our scientists to make nutritious meals that we could feed these children. Not a bowl of rice, just a belly full of carbs, and they don't get the nutrients, right? What we're talking about are nutritious meals that build strong bones and brains and help them become great human beings. New Skin distributors buy these meals and we donate them to Nourish the Children. We get a tax deduction when we do that. And Nourish the Children donates them to organizations around the world to feed children. Do you know that New Skin today is one of the largest donors in the world to the United Nations Feed the Children program? They depend on us. Thank you for that food. Okay? Everyone here in this room has been blessed enough in your life, you can afford $35 a month to save a child. We've done 350 million meals, next stop half a billion, next stop a billion, next stop five billion. We're just going to keep doing this till no more children die from starvation, okay? So that's what it's all about. That's the company. Did you write down anything I just said about this great company? I hope you did. You will find out it's got a great big heart and it's a phenomenal place to be. Let's talk about market trends. In my estimation, this is point number two. This is one of the biggest areas of problem for entrepreneurs. Someday, you will admit you can never make it working for somebody else. And you will say, I have to find my own business, okay? The first thing you should look at is the market trends. Have enough vision to spot the trends in the economy before they're obvious to everybody else. What is a trend anyway? It's nothing more than where money is flowing in the economy now. How much effort, how many dollars have been spent to get that money to flow in that sector of the economy? Billions. Massive marketing, advertising, promotion, you know, all these things to get the money to flow in that place. What are you going to do? You're going to make a mistake. You know what most entrepreneurs do? The first big mistake is they fall in love with some product idea they have instead of falling in love with a trend. Okay? You're not cool enough to make your own trend. Sorry. Okay? You don't have enough money to make your own trend. You don't got enough time to make your own trend. That's the hardest thing to do. It's much wiser to spot the big trends where the money's already flowing. Okay? And just ask yourself the question, what product should I find to match the trend? Don't try to create a new trend. Just find a product that matches the current trend. It's a lot safer. It's a lot less money. It happens a lot faster, okay? Your ratio of success is much higher. And so then you just attach yourself to that trend, and a rising tide lifts all ships, right? And so what happens? So what's the trend new skin's chasing? Anti-aging, right? The anti-aging marketplace is any product or service that helps people live better longer and look better longer, right? Does everybody want to do those two things? Or do you want to spend the last 10 years horizontal on a gurney or a bed? No, you want to be vertical, like this, right? And we've done a lot of research on the attitudes about aging. You would imagine we've done that as an anti-aging company, right? Guess what's interesting about this? People don't necessarily mind getting old. What they mind is getting ugly. If they didn't have to get ugly, they wouldn't mind getting old so bad, right? And so they want products that help them live better longer and look better longer. That's what we do as a company. Now, why is there such a growing demand? What is propelling this anti-aging market to a trillion dollars in the next 10 to 15 years? Why? Baby boomers is one. We'll talk about them, okay? But here's another one, okay? Just generally, kind of higher level, think about this. What was life expectancy in 1900 in America? 46 years of age, okay? Okay, was there a big demand for anti-aging products in 1900? No. Pretty much people died before they got wrinkles, okay? <laughs> they just didn't live long enough to worry too much about it, okay? What's life expectancy today? 80 years of age in this country and like 83 in Norway and Sweden and other countries are longer than us, okay? People are living much longer than ever before in the history of this planet. This notion that people can, that, that lots of people can live into their 70s, 80s, and 90s is a relatively new thought. 
It's only happened in the last 70 or 80 years of the existence of the whole world. Before that, they all died, okay? So now we're piling people up in these older age brackets in enormous numbers. And they want to live better longer. And they want to look better longer, right? Today, there's more people alive over the age of 65 on this planet than have ever been alive in all ages of time combined on this planet. And they're all alive right now. Okay? This is a huge, growing, massive new market that's going to continue to grow, right? When we look at these trends, folks, we want multi-decade long trends. We don't ever want to mistake a fad for a trend. A fad's just a year or two. It's too short. It's not long enough for you to attach to it and go for the ride and become wealthy. Right? So that's what we're looking for. So let's talk about those boomers. <clears throat> Who are the boomers? 1945, World War II ended and the daddies came home. 1946, the babies arrived. And they arrived at a furious pace for 18 years until 1964. In 1964, they invented something called the pill and it came to a screeching halt about that point in time. Okay? But in those 18 years, more babies were born than any 18 years in the history of America. 80 million babies compressed into the short 18 year birthing frame, okay? When you compress that many babies into that short of a birthing window, you get this massive demographic bulge in the economy. And every time that group of people ages and they move forward in their lives and they migrate into a new phase of life, they stretch the markets that they now inhabit, right? And you can see it through their whole phases of the movement of the boomers. In 1940, there was a little company called Gerber that started making baby food in little jars. Before that, mothers would grind up their own food and feed it to their children. There was no pre-made baby food. So Gerber's got this new idea. Make baby food and put it in jars. Boy, did they have good timing. Six years later, wham! Here comes millions of kids. And Gerber explodes and becomes this massive business, right? And so did Barbie dolls and Tonka trucks and Lincoln Logs, right? All these things, boom, as these children arrived. When they became teenagers, the Mustang was the hottest selling car in America for five years in a row. They had to have that Mustang. And 20 years later, when all those boomers had all their children, their little mini boomers, they had to have a minivan to shuttle them all their t-ball and soccer games, right? <laughs> so Lee Iacocca shows up with this whole new kind of car that these boomers need at that stage of their lives. And they stretch that market like crazy, right? And you know, you just track them, guys. And today, wheelchairs are a big deal. Now you can buy all kinds of wheelchairs. Fast ones, slow ones, you know, remote control ones, everything, okay? Just look at what happens as these boomers migrate. They stretch the markets they inhabit. What's the market they're in now? Anti-aging. Every 12 seconds. Today, every 12 seconds, somebody will turn 65 in this country. The daddies didn't just come home to America after World War II. They went home worldwide. 350 million boomers globally. Every three seconds, somebody turns 65 on this planet. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not making this up. This is not my fond hope or my wish or my dream. This is fact. This is fact, okay? This is going to happen no matter what you think. This is happening. This trend is going to make this company many times larger than it is today. And either you can play with us or you can ignore it to your peril your financial peril, okay? It is fact. Okay, let's move on. Before we do that, what does that mean? TFBU. What does that stand for? That's what happens to everybody as they get old. It stands for tired, fat, broken, ugly. <laughs> what a future to look forward to, right? We can help you with every one of those. All right, I'm on point number three. Did you write down something about market trends? I hope you did. If you didn't, you're losing it. Get with it. Let's go. Number three, right now we're going to talk about products and science. This is the mothership in Provo, Utah, right here, world headquarters. Just completed a $100 million expansion because our business is exploding, right? We have an incredible laboratory in that building. 
And that lab is staffed with amazing scientists. We have another lab in Wisconsin. We have another lab in Shanghai. We have another lab in Beijing. Okay, we've got labs all over the world right now. And if, if you look at it, we've got not 75 slides wrong. We have over 80 scientists now, PhD level scientists. They work in all these labs every day. And what do they do? They push the envelope of anti-aging. That's all they do all day long, looking for the next thing, the next breakthrough that's going to help people live better longer and look better longer. That's what it's all about. They're focused on the sources that cause aging in the first place. Not the after effects, but the sources. And that's an important distinction. And if they don't invent it internally, they don't have the not invented here syndrome. They're willing to go buy the technologies that other very smart people develop outside of New Skin Laboratories, all right? And we've got the dry powder to do it. We're sitting on $400 million of cash in the company today. So we will strike when we need to and grab those technologies, right? So if you want to do this and you want to build your own business because you know you need to, you got two choices. You can either join with New Skin and take advantage of all of this and go for the ride and get swept along, or you can start your own anti-aging company, okay? And if you want to do that, we will destroy you, okay? <laughs> we will crush you. There is no way you can compete with what we are doing right here. You don't have a prayer. All right, Pharmanix, we bought that company for $135 million. It has become the foundation of the nutritional program in this company. Knox Technologies purchased two and a half years ago for their multiple patents on two unique molecules that slow down the wrinkling in human skin. Those molecules are not yet available in any new skin product. They will be in two to three years. And you will love what they do for your skin. You may even say to yourself, well, just in time. <laughs> you might do that. And then right here, LifeGen Technologies. We bought that company three and a half years ago. That's why we have a lab in Wisconsin. Why did we buy them? For their 24 patents published or pending on this amazing age lock science. And lastly, the biophotonic scanner purchased from a major US-based research university. They bought all five global patents with that technology. It's the only technology in the world that can tell you whether the vitamin supplements you are swallowing do anything or not in your body. And for 60 years, people have swallowed vitamins, hoping they did something, but never really knowing for sure. Now you can know for sure whether you're wasting all your money or whether you're getting some value and whether your body's protected or not. Let's talk about that scanner just a little more. You put your hand right up to this little opening right here and a blue light comes out in the palm of your hand. And in 30 seconds, you get your antioxidant score, right? That score can be as bad as down here in the red zone, 10,000 or all the way up to 50,000 or more, which is where you would really want to be. What does it mean if you're down here in the red zone? It means you're a disaster. <laughs> That's not a good score. You do not want to be in the red zone, do you? No. You want to get out of there into that blue zone. What does it mean if we have a really high score on the scanner? It means you've got really good antioxidant protection embedded in the tissues of your body to defend yourself against what? Free radical, free radical damage. Okay. How many free radical hits? Will every one of you in this room suffer before midnight tonight? Billion? A million? What do you think? Try 60 trillion. Today, you got a war going on inside your body right now. Okay? 60 trillion. You got a trillion cells in your body, give or take, and they all take about 60 reactions a day. What kind of reactions? There's different species of free radicals, these little nasty things, okay? Some of them hit your cell wall, and they can kill the cell, direct hit. Some hit your DNA inside the nucleus of your cell and try to mutate your DNA, okay? These are nasty little, little guys. You don't want too many of them, right? And so you get lots of them. Where do they come from? Well, a lot of them from your metabolism. You know, you, you burn air and you combust fuel in your cells, and you have some byproducts, just like exhaust coming out of a car, right? Some of that's free radical activity. You get it from the fake carpet in this room that's made out of oil and it's given off little fumes and the glue it was glued down with, right? The seat backs on these chairs you're sitting on. Some of the fake ceiling tiles in this room right here, right? 
You get it from your clothes that are made out of rayon and nylon, slowly decaying all time, all day long. You're breathing that in. You take them to the dry cleaner. You bring them home. You put them right on the skin of your body and suck the chemicals right in from the dry cleaner. Good job. That was a good one for you. Okay? <laughs> then what do you do? Well, the, the, the car's out there in the sun, you know. It's time to go to lunch. It's baking at 130 degrees inside your car. Everything inside your car, from the dashboard to the gauges, the steering wheel, the seats, the carpet, everything's synthetic. It's cooking at 130 degrees. You jump in that car, slam the door, crank the AC, suck it all in. Man, that's a good one, isn't it? You're so impatient when you get off of 285, you can't stand it. Traffic's so bad, you get home, you just want your dinner. You stand in front of your microwave, hurry up. <laughs> you cook in your head, right? Take your cell phone, stick it up to half your head the rest of the day, just low level radiation. And so the point is, it's everywhere. And you can't escape it. It's impossible to escape it. So what you have to do is defend against that. You gotta do something about that, right? Something new for you to think about. What are you doing about free radical management in your body? You ever even thought about that? You probably haven't. You better start thinking about it, right? We've done the studies to prove it. If you've got high scores on this scanner, you've got low free radical damage going on in your body. You've got a low score on this scanner, you've got high damage going on in your body. So what's the aging process anyway? Or a big chunk of the aging process. What is it? Nothing more than the cumulative free radical damage you allow your body to suffer through the course of your life because you're not paying attention. Okay? And you say, well, what, what's it going to do? Big deal, right? Well, how about this big deal? You want to drive your own car after age 70? Or would you rather have to be shuttled by somebody? You want to have a driver's license? Then protect your eyes. How do you protect your eyes from age-related macular degeneration of your retina? The only known way is really high levels of antioxidants your whole life. One third of all adults in this country over age 70 have lost their driver's licenses because of that problem. Okay? I could give you 20 other reasons why in your body. That's just one reason. Get your score as high as you can get it and keep it there for the rest of your life. Okay? You love somebody, you better get them scanned. Spouses, brothers, sisters, parents, you know, children, siblings, aunt, uncles, cousins, friends, you better scan them all. We're the only place in the world where you can do this. Right here, okay? All right, let's talk about age lock. This is awesome, awesome technology that's currently driving this massive growth in this company. So, I told you we bought this company in Wisconsin. Why did we buy them? 24 patents, but the patents cover this amazing database. For 35 years, this company, LifeGen, has been taking tissue samples from every kind of tissue, and they've taken them when the tissue was young, so they know what the youthful expression of that tissue is supposed to be. Okay, there's a company in California. It's called Asymmetrics. This company has made a gene chip. You can take strands of DNA and embed them right in the top of the integrated circuit. You plug the circuit in the reader and you get a heat map like this. Some of these genes, and there's 52 genes right here, every slice is a different gene in that tissue. Every one of these genes has a different expression. Some are cold, they're green. Some are hot, they're red. Some are really hot, they're dark red. That's the youthful expression of that tissue and the genes that control it right there. When we get to middle age, Many times we have made almost a complete flip-flop. We have changed our expression of our DNA. And so that's a big deal. I've got a question for everybody in this room. How many of you here today have DNA? <laughs> you should all raise your hands, okay? <laughs> Unless you're like from men in black and we know what, you're, what you really are, okay? Okay, you all got DNA, right? Okay. How many in this room think your DNA has changed since the day you were born? Okay, all right. You're all wrong. It has not changed at all. Otherwise, the police could never find the criminals. <laughs> right? It's exactly the same today as it was the day you were born. So why have you changed? Because the expression of your DNA is different. And the expression is influenced by air, water, Food, stress, pollution, toxins, cigarettes, you know, too much alcohol, all these things, right? All those things affect the expression of your DNA.
in your body. So here's your hard-coded DNA, and up here is the tissue of your body. And in between these two is something that does that translation, that changes that expression. It's called your epigenome. That means, epi means above your DNA, above your genome. And it goes through this big transcription methylation process. You guys all know about RNA and everything, right? Forget all that. That's what happens. That's how it changes the expression. That's why you can take two identical twins who have the identical code, you separate them at birth and put them in different environments, and 30 years later, they look totally different. Okay? There's, there's a resemblance, but they look different. And that's what happens, all right? That's why it works. So, what do we have the ability to do at New Skin? We can take nutritional compounds. We can put them into nutritional formulations. And we can feed those formulations to test groups of people for 90 days. Then we can take DNA samples from those people. And we can embed them in a gene chip. And we can see if that formula has the ability to reset the expression of that particular tissue to act more like it did when you were young. We cannot do 100% match, not yet. We'll get better as we do this longer. But right now, we can get you a 90% match to the way it used to look. And that is pretty incredible. All right? This product right here, Vitality, works on energy production in the cells of your body. Okay? The genes that control your mitochondria in your cells. Now listen, when you're in college, you could do two all-nighters in a row and still reasonably function the third day. Now you can't even make 10 o'clock. Some of you can't even make noon. What's happened in your body? The genes that regulate energy production have changed their expression since you were young. You want to get better energy? You want to get more clarity of thought? Try this product. We can also do this in the tissue of your face. Look at this lady. This is our first age lock product right here. Look at the difference in her mouth and her neck after 90 days. This is our latest age lock product. We just sold $40 million in two and a half hours a few months ago. It's the f world's first genetic-based body reshaping system. It's not a diet. Don't ever do a diet ever again in your life. Diets are dangerous. They damage your metabolism and make you fatter. That's what they do. Half, al almost half of all the weight you lose, the pounds you lose on a diet, are lean tissue, muscle, from your body. That destroys your metabolism, right? You don't want to lose that muscle, folks. Muscle is the most important thing. Write these numbers down. You've never heard this before. Now get them down right now. You ready? Every pound of muscle on your body burns six calories an hour. Every pound of fat on your body burns two calories an hour. Isn't that disgusting? Fat can hang there so efficiently. The good Lord made you that way. So if there's ever a famine, you got some storage, okay? Yeah, fat can stay there so easily. It only takes two calories an hour. So really, when you understand that muscle burns three times more calories an hour than fat, it's really about the muscle, isn't it? It's not even about the fat. It's about the muscle, okay? If you've got more muscle, you're going to burn more calories all the time. You'll stay leaner longer. You'll look better longer, right? And so, for the first time ever, there's a body reshaping plan that actually supports or even adds muscle to your body while it strips fat only. That's never been done before. That is completely unique in the whole world. And I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures right now from my private collection, okay, <laughs> in just a moment. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now listen, in these pictures, you're not going to see people saying, I've lost 50, I've lost 100 pounds. You're not going to see these huge pounds. If you see a whole bunch of pounds missing on the scale, you guys, you are losing muscle, okay? That is not what you want to do. What you're going to see in these pictures, these testimonials, people talk about inches lost. Remember, muscle's that dense, heavy, thin thing. Fat's that bulky thing that takes up all the space. So if you just strip fat, the inches zoom, and the pounds don't change very much. When we, started, when we launched this program last October, and people started taking it, they started calling our support line, our product support line. They were saying, I don't know, I'm not losing any weight. I mean, the pounds aren't changing on the scale. And our support people had to educate them and say, we don't really want a whole lot of pounds to go. 
We want you to actually gain muscle and lose fat. So how are your pants fitting? How's your dress size? Oh, well, my pants are super loose. My dress feels like a tent, you know? So people started realizing, well, things are changing, but the scale is the wrong measurement. Throw your scale away. It's the stupidest way to try to measure whether you're healthy, right? It doesn't tell you anything. Who cares what the whole blob weighs? We don't care what the whole blob weighs, right? Throw the thing away. We only care about how many pounds of muscle and how many pounds of fat and what's your body fat percentage. That's all we care about. That's all that matters, okay? Pretty radical thought here, isn't it? Think about this. Age 30, you start to lose lean tissue. Age 30, you have peaked in the most muscle you'll have on your body. You start going downhill after 30. By age 40, you are losing 1% of your lean tissue a year. How many people here have taken care of 80 or 90 year old people before? Have you been around them? How thick are their shoulders? Nothing, they're just bones right here. They've lost all their upper body muscle. They've lost all the muscle in their legs and in their butt. And all of a sudden they get tippy and they tip over break their hip, and that's the beginning of the end. That's why people fall and break hips, because they lose their muscle tissue, you guys, okay? You must do resistance training three times a week the rest of your life. Everybody here, you gotta do some kind of weight resistance training. You have to do it, or you will lose muscle, okay? You lose 1% a year, here's your muscle, here's your fat. You just lose 1% a year, so your muscle's coming down, you're not burning as many calories anymore, so you just keep putting on more fat. So you just get fatter as you get older. It's just the aging process. That is exactly what will happen to every one of you in this room. So you gotta change it. You need a body reshaping plan. Here's the plan right here. Look at these people. I mean, you can look at faces and see differences. Look at bodies, right? I lost 15% body fat. 30 pounds, I lost 24 inches around the areas measured. I want to get rid of my stomach. With Tara 90, I lost 10 inches off my waist. Only 20 pounds, but 10 inches. On a Jenny Krager Weight Watchers, that would have been like 40 pounds. But she would have destroyed her muscle, right? To lose that many inches, okay? So you don't do that stuff. Look at this guy. He is a sick young man. He's got this huge mid-body, we call that visceral fat. He's probably pre-diabetic and he doesn't even know it, okay? This belly and these hips, you guys, this mid-body fat, you have got to get rid of that. That is what will make you a diabetic as you go down the road, okay? 30 days, 60 days, look at the muscle coming through. Probably bigger arms, you know, more muscle than even here, right? Can you see that? Yes. Look at this one. This guy lost 9.1% body fat and gained 5% lean muscle. Okay, look at this one, Peggy Kroc, one of our great leaders in our business. She had a pretty good tire going here, okay? <laughs> that mid-body visceral dangerous fat right here, she stripped it almost all off. She's still going on it a little bit, still working at it, but she's going back to that hourglass shape instead of that pear shape, right? And look at this lady, I saw her in Edmonton, Canada last week, I met her. Here's the before pictures, front and back, here's the after, front and back. Look at this, only eight pounds, but 14 and a half total inches, six inches off her waist, and added three and a half percent lean tissue. Build muscle, strip fat, that's body reshaping. That's what we're talking about. Look at this great leader, our Jeffrey Lee. Pretty good pot going there, Jeffrey. <laughs> Dangerous stuff, right? Stripped all the fat, 90 days. Look at that, okay? Look at this guy. I met him last week, or this week actually, right? He put on seven pounds of muscle in 70 days. This isn't just like, you know, a diet or something, guys, it's not. You want to add muscle? Get on this product, right? Now this next one. The next one, I think, is the very best example of body reshaping. Look at this lady right here, okay? Take a close look. She did the program for 90 days, and she came out the end of the program one pound heavier than when she went into the program. But she totally reshaped her body. Are you starting to understand what makes you sexy? What makes you sexy? Muscle. Muscle makes you sexy. What does it mean to be skinny fat? That means you look okay in your clothes, but heaven forbid people see you without those clothes on. Because there's all kinds of weird bulges in places you don't want them. That's what happens on regular diets. You get skinny fat, right? Look at Ronnie. He looks incredible after he had his baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> and look at Christina, okay, before, after, you know, back shot, before, after, 90 days, right? Body reshaping, okay? Look at Charlie, our fearless leader. 
People would say, man, he was already in great shape. Talk about stripping fat and added muscle. Look at that. Yes, he was working out, but he always worked out. What happens when you get age-lock components that support lean tissue maintenance and growth? And you get age-lock components that reset the genes that regulate fat metabolism and storage. They start acting more like they did when you were young. Most of you, when you were young in this room, could eat almost what you wanted and it didn't stick very bad. Now everything sticks, right? You've lost your Teflon. So what are you doing about it? Get on this TR90 and get your genes reset, right? Look at this lady. Side shot before, side shot after. Notice in this shot, do you see anything different about this arm versus this arm? Do you see anything showing up right there? A little bit of a tricep showing up right there. Look at that. Nothing over here. You sick of your back of your arms wagging in the wind, people? You know, <laughs> flapping around in the breeze? Okay? Get body reshaping going here, okay? Look at the back on this one. The back shot before and after. Look at the fat folds between a bra strap. Look at the saddlebags right here. Just strip them all off. Body reshaping. You getting that? Yes. Not a diet. Add muscle. Strip fat. Look at this lady. Look at her face. Look at her stomach and her legs. Look at this. 28 and a half inches. 90 days. Totally different person. Okay. Understand? All right. Hundreds of products after 30 years of innovation, right? How do you know that if you put your time in, that you're going to have a future here? It's called innovate, innovate, innovate. That's all we do here. And we're going to keep doing it so you have new opportunities to build your future. Right now, let's talk about money for a minute. We're on the second to last point, almost done. You ready? You making notes? Yes, sir. I think most of you are just sitting there. <laughs> you better be writing stuff down, okay? All right, so uh, what we did is we stole Apple Computer's launch process. Apple, we were noticing, had really figured out how to create lots of energy and momentum around the launch of their products. So how does Apple do this? Well, what they do is on purpose, they send an Apple employee to a bar in San Jose, California. <laughs> and the guy plays like he gets drunk and he leaves his new cell phone on the counter of the bar and he walks out. And all the people in the room there go, oh, holy smokes, that guy from Apple just left that phone. We've never seen a phone like that. Picture, picture, picture. All the pictures show up on the tech websites in two days, right? Apple denies the existence of a new phone. <laughs> two months later, Apple admits there's a new phone, okay? And Apple says, it's going to be cool. We'll tell you more later. Two months later, they say, here's the new phone. It's going to be really cool. Here's all the new things it does, right? And the launch date will be here. And then for the next, you know, 24 hours, people camp out on the sidewalk in front of all the Apple stores around the world so they can be the first ones to get the new phone before it runs out. That's how Apple does the launch process, right? It is an amazing psychological process. Okay. Good enough for Apple, good enough for us, right? So we started doing the same thing five years ago. Our first one, our first limited time offer, that's what we call them. We did $17 million in a day. The company was blown away. We'd never done $17 million in the first day of a product. And then the next year, we did $55 million. And the next year, we did $110 million. And then the next year, $300 million in a day. And this last time, our CEO just announced a week and a half ago on our analyst call, he announced that we did 560 million. That's wrong, 560, mostly in a day. Every country did one day except China, they did multiple days, okay? Half a billion dollar launch, guys. Okay, what are the most successful, what are the two most successful product launches ever? I gave you a hint, come on, yeah, iPhone 5 iPhone 5 was a billion dollars the first day. And the iPhone 5S, the current latest phone, two billion in a day. Unbelievable, right? How big's Apple? $150 billion annual revenue. 150 billion. How big's New Skin? Three billion. Oh, so Apple's 50 times larger than New Skin, right? And we just did a half a billion dollar launch compared to their two billion. I would say our ratios are pretty good. Now we're gonna do a billion dollar launch someday. I don't know if it'll be the next one or if it'll be the next one or the next one, but we're gonna do a billion dollar launch someday in this company. Okay, think about where you work now. Think about that broken vehicle you're driving right now, okay? When's the next time you'll be involved in a billion dollar product launch where you work now? Can I tell you when? Never. It's never going to happen, okay? 
You want that to happen in your life? You better be part of this company because you can't do it at Apple either, right? But you can join here and you can make this your financial vehicle of the future and you can make history with us. It's way more fun to make history than read about it, okay? Go do something and make it happen. When you want to talk about money here, this is where we start as an executive in this company. The reason you become an executive is not for the money. You do it so you can play the game of NewScan. If you're not an executive, you're just a customer or a product user, you cannot play the game of NewScan. You can't be in the business, all right? So you become an executive. Average income a year ago for all executives in the whole company, 4,800 bucks a year, 400 a month. Not much money, but it only takes 60 days to get there. So not much time, right? And it is a car payment. It starts to change people's lives even right there. All right? Once you've done that, then you just start doing it in fours. You go get four executives on your front line. You did it. You became an executive. You know how to do that. So just help four people do it. And now you're a Ruby executive. And the average income last year for all Ruby's $32,000 a year, $2,700 a month. Not huge money, but the average time to get there is only 12 months. And now you're developing this leveraged stream of the money that starts coming into your house. This is a different kind of money than you've ever tasted. Most of you here don't even know what I'm talking about when I say leveraged income, okay? All you've ever had in your life is a salary, a wage, a bonus, a commission. That's all temporary. You stop doing it, you don't get it anymore, okay? You don't know what I'm talking about when I say recurring leverage stream. It's amazing. It's really hard to get. It's really hard to find any place where you can even accomplish a, a leverage stream of money, right? But you can do it here. It's very unique. And once you do that, then you're already there. Now, you've got to stabilize this. Listen to me. It's not uncommon to have to replace one or two of these people. It's totally normal, okay? So you stabilize. And once you're stabilized, then you go get the next four. And now you've got eight on your front line. Now you're what we call a diamond executive in New Skin. And the average income for diamonds last year was $126,000 a year, $10,500 a month. Average time to get there, two and a half years. Okay? It's happening a little faster now because of age lock and the LTOs. But this is like, this is like going to college, okay? This is your college education of new skin. Just plan on it. It's a two and a half year program instead of four. But when you graduate, you graduate at 10-5 a month. How many of you got a four year degree and graduated at 10-5? <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. So this is your college education right here, okay? <clears throat> Lastly, you get the last four. Now you got 12 executives on your front line. You're a blue diamond executive in New Skin. Average income, $617,000 a year, $51,000 a month. Average time to get there, about seven years. Okay? And that's okay, because most of you here have been doing something 20 years, you're not, you're not even close. And because of the broken vehicle you're driving, it's not even possible. You'll never get there. Okay? Not even in the cars to get there. This one, you can do it. It can happen right here, okay? And that's what we mean. How many people were there last year in Michigan? How many people? You know, I realize you're skeptical, and some people are, you should be, right? Some people think we're probably like three people, you know, at Blue Diamond making that money, right? How many people were there last year in Michigan? About a thousand. A thousand people on a $3 billion company making that much money. How about where you work right now? How many people make 600,000 or more a year? How many people? One? None? Three? Five? Fifty in a huge company? You got way better odds here than you have any place else in pulling this off. Okay? And it doesn't matter if you didn't go to the right university and get the right MBA, okay? Anybody can do it here. Anybody can do it. Last year we had 967 people as of November 13th that were part of our million dollar circle, meaning they've been paid more than a million since they joined the company in commission checks, right? In this residual stream of money. Some people only take two, three years to do it. Some people take 20 years to do it. Just depends on how fast you want to do it. Two years ago, we made a new millionaire every six days. Last year, it was every five days. This year, it's every four days. Four years from now, folks, I promise you, we'll make a new millionaire every single day. It's going to happen. Will anybody here please tell me any place else this is happening? Anywhere. Any company. Tell me. Because it's, it's not happening except right here in this company. It's remarkable what's happening in this company right here. 
Last point, support and mentorship. We have a system. It's called System 7. Seven things you do every day and seven things you become over time. If you follow this system, you will become a great leader in this business and you will be highly successful here. You will change your life and change your future. So you become a Ruby, you duplicate Rubies, and you multiply Ruby executives in your team and you will build an amazing team. We have covered these five points. I hope you wrote down something on each one of them, okay? And so now the question is, what are you more focused on? Are you more focused on using product, making money, or doing both? And if you're focused on using product, then we have to ask which one do you want to work on first? Tired, fat, broke, or ugly? Which one? <laughs> we can fix all of them, okay? And if you're focused on the money, then where are you on a scale of 1 to 10? If you're a 1, 2, or 3, you're not ready. You need to go home and use more products and try to figure it out. We have a lady named Darlene Shear. She's in Ottawa, Canada. She was the first team elite in the country of Canada. This lady's a fireball. I was with her there about five years after Canada opened. We were doing a meeting just like this. And at the end of the meeting, this guy named Roger came up in his beautiful suit and tie. And he's a businessman, right? And he joined the business four months prior to this meeting. And he was just a little bit out of sorts. He was trying to resolve his identity as a professional business person with being a network marketer. He just couldn't quite close this gap all the way, right? And so he's sitting there talking to Darlene and asking these questions, and I can tell she's getting more and more frustrated. I'm thinking, this may not end good, you know? Because Darlene's a fireball. <clears throat> she grabs Roger by the tie and yanks him in. Roger! Like this. And Roger's going, like this folks, you know? And Roger, she says, Roger, I want you to go home. You take every new skin product you have and you dump it into your bathtub. And I want you to take your clothes off, Roger, and you sit in that product till you figure it out. <laughs> and maybe you need to go home and sit in product for a while, okay? <laughs> so you can figure it out. And if you're an 8, 9, or 10, then guess what you need to do? You need to sign up right now, today. You do not wait. You do not procrastinate. You do it right now, okay? And the way you do it is you buy three of these packages. You want to just be a customer? That's great. Buy one of them. But if you want to do the business, you buy three of these, right? Why do you buy three? Because it creates enough volume for you to satisfy the first requirement to become an executive so you can play the game. You can't even play the game unless you do it. And if you buy $200 of product the next month, within 30 days, then they'll give you a fourth package free. So it's a good deal anyway, okay? But the real reason you do it is so you can start building the business in the right way. All right. I want to thank all the executives here, the Vickers, and everybody else who did so much to put this together. We're going to have six people come up right now. Who in this room has had an amazing uh, TR90 body reshaping story? Anybody? I want 90 first. Paige? I started on TR90. Well, first of all, I'm a I was a pharmaceutical rep before I discovered new skin. Uh, for about 15 years. I started on TR90 in October and I was just hoping to get through the holidays without gain and an ounce. I did that and um, to date I've lost 7% body fat, 12 inches and 12 pounds. So almost all of the weight that I've lost is all fat. And um, I, I feel better, I, I feel more confident, I get to buy new clothes now. And, and I just, I, I love it. It's, I've tried lots of different diets, and uh, I always lost the weight, lost it fast, but it came back with vengeance every single time. So I love the fact that they put the protein boost in there, because that's what I started doing pretty quickly after I figured out I needed 30 grams of protein per meal, and that's really kicked it into high gear for me. Very good. Thank you. Well, Arlene, uh, I went on TR90 in October. I had been a former Weight Watcher instructor. I had lost weight before, you know, always struggled to keep it off. I worked out with a trainer for over a year. I could not get rid of my middle. I had thin arms, thin legs, but I had a huge torso. And no matter what I did, it was there. I lost 12 inches from my body and um, 15 pounds. I feel fantastic and it's staying off. It's been over a month. I've really been off the program, but I still eat the same way. So I feel energetic, awesome. I feel really good, and people are noticing, they're going like, what are you doing? Yeah. Awesome. My name is Dan, I used to own a chain of restaurants. I started this business three years ago. And uh, last 
October, we participated in the LTO program. Uh, by doing the business six months before that, building the business six months before that, so in uh, November, I received a check that was three times larger than my previous checks. I do not know what happened to the money because my wife spent it faster than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my goal right now is to make it make even more money so you see can't even spend it all. <laughs> Last June, we went to the Leadership Summit and we listened to you, Nathan, and Jeff Mack telling us how to execute the LTO. I came home and I did everything that I heard. Um, I am quite bossy, as my team will probably tell you, but we got everybody organised. And, um, and on the day, uh, I we trebled our, our check. Um, yeah, we travelled our check. So I can just advise you to do exactly as Nathan has, has taught you today. Um, and you <coughs> go ahead and do it. Just one, one funny thing before I, I finish. We were at the convention in October. And on the screen, um, on all the big screens, they put up the top 20 money earners in the LTO for October. And I turned to Alan and I said, oh, I wonder if we'll know anybody. And we look again, and my name's there. So, <laughs> it was a huge surprise, but it just shows you if you if you follow the system, follow the advice we're given, you'll all be successful. Great. Hello, my name is Stephen Moore. I live in Jupiter, Florida, and I joined the business nine years ago. Um, I grew up in a family where we didn't have a lot of money. My father wasn't a good, great provider, so I didn't have a lot of respect for him because of the choices he made. And so I decided I wanted to be a doctor. I went and got myself educated, went to school for nine years, spent a couple hundred thousand dollars in school loans. And when I graduated, someone introduced me to New Skin because I was broke and looking for a way just to make a couple thousand dollars to pay for my apartment. I came to a meeting like this, went out to the headquarters, and I decided not to practice. I walked away from that to do this full time because I saw not only could I have money and help people, but I could have time freedom. And my family did everything they could to try and talk me out of it for <laughs> several years. I was the first doctor in my family that thought I lost my mind. <laughs> and what's interesting is we have an amazing life. We've been doing it for 10 years. We've been team lead for the last couple of years. I don't have to answer anyone. I do what I want when I want. And we have a lot of fun. And I'm there for my family, for my wife, and for my children. And it was interesting, not too long ago, my sister you know, finally decided to give me a lead. I'm like, wow, this is interesting. I, mean, I don't think she quite knows what I do. She uses our products and stuff, but she knows what this business has done for us. And her chiropractor was complaining to her about his lifestyle, that he has no time, and that he never sees his family. And my sister said, you should talk to my brother because he has lots of time and loves what he does. Now the chiropractor that she, were, that she told should give me a call was actually the guy that took the job that I was supposed to have. It was the same exact practice. So I look at where my life could have been and where it is now because of New Skin, and thank you, New Skin, for. <laughs> I'm from the UK, lived in the States now since 2002. Uh, I can go through the, the, this, the line here of answer. I lost 18 pounds of 10% body fat, and I built my muscle on the first those 90 days. Been off the program for the last uh, two months and maintained those measurements. So it's really about going on a program that changes you. Uh, on one given day last year, I really got this business, Nathan, when a million dollars of volume went through my account in the space of one hour. That is sensational. That's the kind of business you can do when you build a network. Build a network, set yourself free. It beats any business you can possibly imagine. Woo! Awesome.